In the depths of Minecraft's vast world, we find a story as old as the waves themselves. Tales of mermaids have existed for centuries, and today I'm going to be playing Minecraft as one. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. On day one, I spawned in on this beautiful flatlands area. I collected wood, made a crafting table, crafted some tools, grabbed some food, and on my way exploring, we saw these beautiful, beautiful carrots and alliums, which had onions in them. I explored for a little bit and found this village. In the village, I looted a bit. I found these two wonderful chests, gossiped a bit with the villagers, took their organic soil and their hay bale piles. Then I looked out at the sea and dreamed about getting my mermaid tail. To grow a tail, I need to harness the power of the ocean. And to harness the power of the ocean, I need the sea necklace. To get that, we're gonna have to mine. On day one, as I went to sleep, I dreamed of returning to the sea. On day two, I woke up from my dreams with even bigger dreams of what I was gonna accomplish in this world. I walked around the village for a bit, found an iron golem, and came up with a genius idea to get iron from the iron golem. What I didn't realize was that this mod pack made the iron golem stronger. Mensa clearly wants me as their next member. Dusting off my ego, I respawned, ran back to where I died to get my stuff back. And, um, it happened again, guys. He stays angry at you. Albert Einstein once said that insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. But then again, my favorite proverb is practice makes perfect. After many unnecessary deaths, I was finally able to pillar up and get rid of the iron golem. Not only did I get four iron ingots, I got a fix for my bruised ego. I then mined some surface coal and grabbed some cobblestone as well. I made some torches so I could go mining and I made a chest to put all my stuff in. I decided to replace my wooden pickaxe with an iron pickaxe so I could mine faster and if we find any diamonds, I'll be able to grab. To be able to be worthy of the powers of a mermaid, I need to craft a sea necklace to gain my tail. To craft this sea necklace, I need iron and diamonds, so that's why we're going down to Muk. As we were staircasing, I fell into this cute little cave where I found some more coal, and we continued to strip mine where we found some of our first iron. I then went back up the mine to the surface as I really wanted a shield and to go back to bed. On day three, we woke up outside to the most beautiful sunrise. We went ahead, crafted that shield that we wanted to craft, made a furnace, smelted our iron, and used it to make some boots. After that, we went straight back down the mine shaft where we found this giant cave that I fell into. Luckily for us, there was a ton of iron to that cave, so we set off on collecting it. On day four, I sat around for a little while waiting for the iron to smelt, and then I crafted up some iron armor. After that, I decided to return to the large cave where we were able to find beautiful lapis and gold. After that, I decided to continue with the strip mine where we ended up mining into this really interesting cave. I ended up finding this super cool outpost-like thing in the cave, and as I was lighting the cave up, yeah. I made my way back up after that embarrassing fall and I looted the chests in here. I was super excited because this string meant that I'd be able to make a backpack. I was super excited to be able to add some extra space to my inventory, but it was night so we went to sleep and we woke up on day five. I also needed a chest to craft a backpack so I ended up taking the chest. We went ahead, we crafted it up, and look at how cool it looks. In the caves, we ended up finding this deep, dark biome, which was very cool, but very scary. I saw this mob spawner and put torches on it to prevent mobs from spawning, but it was a special modded mob spawner, so they spawned anyway. I was absolutely terrified, and I started running. I tried to box myself in as I was on half health, but I was shaking, and I couldn't do it. This cave spider ended up getting on in and this fight was so, so terrified. I was certain I was gonna die, but I survived on half a heart. I regained my health, got rid of the zombies that were chasing me as well, and looted this other outpost that I found. I'm not too sure what this turtle thing is, but I thought it was cool and wanted to show you all. Then I went to sleep not knowing what kind of horrors were waiting for me when I woke up. But before we get to that, let me show you my cute little friend Emerson. 
Emerson is from a mod called Golem Traders, which adds fun new trades mm -hmm. without emeralds. And you also don't feel like you're being scammed when you're trading with him. I noticed two trades mm -hmm. that were insanely good, so I obviously had to take them. Once I finished those two trades, mm -hmm. I looked in my backpack to see if there was anything else I could trade. And then I saw this creepy crawly thing running straight at me. I was a little disgusted, a bit scared, and I decided to box myself in mm -hmm. instead of eat food. This was a terrible decision, but luck was on my side. I was on half a heart again. I decided to eat food, regain my health, and then take this monster on. I mined out of where I was staying in the wall, and I looked around. I was really happy. I thought it had despawned, and then... It was at this moment he knew. He f***ed up. I ran for my life trying to get away from it. But I wasn't able to escape the cave centipede, and... Yeah. I ran from spawn to get my stuff back, and on the way, I saw this cute raccoon. But the raccoon isn't the point. We need to get our stuff back as soon as possible. I grabbed my umbrella shield from the chest, and we went straight back down the mine shaft to get my stuff back. That trip was not successful, but we did end up seeing our first diamonds, which we need to use to make the sea necklace. I got my stuff back, and then we went out in search of those diamonds that I had seen earlier. Our diamond mining proved to be very, very successful, and we were able to collect 11 diamonds in total. While one diamond is reserved for the sea necklace, I'm very excited to see what modded applications for diamonds there are. As I fell asleep, I thought about all I had accomplished this week and what we'll be accomplishing next week. We left the caves to a beautiful day outside, and I was so excited to finally craft my sea necklace. I saw this cute village house down here, and I thought that this dock would be a perfect place to craft my sea necklace, as it was on the water. I put down my crafting table, and we got to constructing the sea necklace. But then I realized I got the crafting recipe all wrong. Instead of just a diamond, I actually needed a sea crystal, which is composed of the heart of the sea and a diamond. So I got ready to go out on an expedition for the heart of the sea. But as I was doing that, I saw this fish and I realized that I needed to save him. So I went over to the crafting table, crafted a bucket as quickly as I could, and we caught him in a bucket. I decided that his name is Rocky. Then I decided since I was going to be staying on land a little longer, we could play little property brothers with this house. As is tradition, we started with the demo, where I took out this wall so I could look into lovely Ivory's eyes. I extended these two windows to touch each other. I made an iron backpack for some extra storage. I made a little chest corner over here with both backpacks and went to sleep because day nine was going to be a big day for us. I also removed these two windows, and this is what the small upgrade of this house looks like. We went to the crafting bench outside to make a boat, and then we got boating. After a small amount of boating, we found this cute little island with a shipwreck in front of it. This seagull is very 1989 coded. We looked in the shipwreck. There was no heart of the sea. However, there were some very interesting things on this island. We saw a group of seals, a kangaroo, and an elephant before we counted sheep in our dreams. The next day, we got back into our boat and we found these ocean ruins with these chests full of coral. And I also found this pillar jar outpost full of lilies. While I couldn't rescue them right now as I didn't have the supplies to take them home with me, I made note of it for the future. I then found some desert ruins with some awesome treasures. I ran around a bit more, collected some more things, and then I saw this crocodile and decided to leave. I went back home, slept in my own bed, grabbed some things I needed, and I ate. We set back out for our expedition for the necklace looking for a shipwreck. I found this shipwreck and I desperately hoped that there would be a buried treasure map inside. I was very lucky with the treasure chest and got another diamond. I then found and entered the room with the map chest, grabbed the map, and we are on our way to find our buried treasure. I located the island where the buried treasure map was, aligned myself to the X, and after a bit more clownery than I would like to admit, found the buried treasure and were able to acquire the heart of the sea. I wanted to craft the necklace, but I didn't have any wood, so I got back into my boat and went back to the shipwreck. I was clearing out my inventory when two zombies came up behind me and hit me into the water. I looked behind and I noticed that one of the zombies had the answer to all of my problems. As you can see, I'm lacking inventory space, but the zombie on the left, has a backpack which would solve all of the problems. 
Luckily, my sword has looting on it, which increases the chances of the zombie dropping the backpack, which he did. So now I have some extra storage space. I grabbed the piece of wood that I needed, made a crafting table and placed it. And on day 11, I finally crafted the sea crystal and the sea necklace. I dyed it red using this fire coral, which felt very apropos because it's something from under the sea and also named fire. I finally placed on my sea necklace and made my armor transparent using a cool mod that I found named Cosmetic Armor. I didn't want my first time going swimming as a mermaid to be in the dark, so I decided to check out this desert temple in the meantime. There wasn't anything very good in the chests, but I was able to get a ton of gems. I can trade these gems for mini blocks, which can be used for decoration. When I left the temple, it was still a bit dark outside and I saw this cool tornado thing, so I decided to see what it was. It ended up dropping this guster eye. Then it was time to hit the water as a mermaid. And look at how cool I look. This is so much fun. I was absolutely freaking out and enjoying my new time as a mermaid. The coral biome is absolutely a gorgeous place to experience this in. As a mermaid, I obviously want to have a mermaid house. And obviously, it's going to be made out of prismarine. So as I was looting the structure, I realized that I need to collect all the prismarine that I saw because I'd be needing a lot of it for my house. As I was mining this prismarine, I started to recognize that I did not have aqua affinity and it was taking so long to mine. So I headed home in search of an enchantment table. And on the way home, we saw a lot of cool animals that I just wanted to highlight. I adore this color changing octopus and these turtles are so cute. I made sure to bucket one so we could have it when we get home. After that, I saw the snake and thought, hey, let me walk up on it, which, uh, was a totally genius idea. I wasted both of my golden apples trying not to die. So, yeah. Then finally, we stumbled upon another coral reef where we saw these beautiful hammerhead sharks. Then we swam home, put everything we collected into chests, and organized them. Tell me this isn't satisfying to watch. I feel like it's just so satisfying. And I planted all the sugar cane because it was time to get enchanting. In the mod pack that I'm using, there's a cool enchantment called Vein Miner. Vein Miner allows you to break multiple matching connected blocks, meaning that if I find a large source of prismarine, i.e. a structure, I can break it very easily because I don't want to spend all day mining for prismarine. Then I crafted myself a diamond pickaxe so I could get obsidian. While searching for a source of obsidian, I found this tower and this TP village. I found the entrance of the tower, went inside, checked the chest, grabbed the hay bales, admired the inside of the tower for how interesting it was. Look at how cool some of these choices are. I continued going up, just checking out what each floor had, and at the top... Believe me when I say that I took everything that this tower had to offer. I mean everything. I even took the spider webs. Then after stealing everything in this tower, I went to sleep in their bed and stole that too. Then we explored the TP village where there was nothing for me to take, but I did see this cute toucan. Then I finally found the obsidian source that I was looking for, and it just so happened to be a large rune nether portal. Then I went home, went to sleep, and decorated my cabin with my new supplies from our adventure. I crafted an enchantment table, then realized that I had nowhere to put it, so I decided to make a cute enchanting grotto. And for the grotto, I put the bookshelves in, decorated, terraformed, and added some cute books. Before I show you the final result of the enchanting grotto, let me show you the enchanting system I use in this mod pack. It's called Matrix Enchanting, and it's from a mod called Quark. In my opinion, it's better than vanilla enchanting, and it allowed me to get three enchantments on my pickaxe very easily. One of those enchantments was vein mining, which, well... And let me tell you, I did not learn my lesson. And this is how it turned out. Wait, actually, I want to add two more plans. And then I went to sleep because tomorrow is another day. That's going to be it for today's video, but please let me know what you want to see in next week's video. I hope you enjoyed today's adventure as a mermaid. Bye, everyone!